Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and I am playing my tier 4 Keiho, which is a Japanese tier 4, I believe it's a medium tank. Actually, I don't know about that, it could be a, it could be a light tank. Let's see here. I don't know my low tier vehicles very well. Um, anyway, regardless, <laughs> first I have to apologize again because I have been gone for a few weeks and a good deal of that is I just had a baby, um, her name is Thea and my wife and I had her on the 26th of September. Uh, she's healthy, but recently she's had some health issues. She developed thrush. Um, she's also um, has some colic, I guess, which is like a stomach issue. And things have been kind of uh, difficult with that. And so baby's been screaming and crying nonstop for the last four weeks. And because of that, it's been really hard to find time to live stream. We live in a small one bedroom apartment. So anyway, not really an excuse. I wish I had a separate bedroom where I could record and stream to keep up with the videos like this, but unfortunately that is not the case. My wife is um, out with some friends today, so I decided it would be a great time to record some videos. So I do plan on being a lot more consistent. It's just, I, I can't really just guarantee or promise anything, unfortunately. So anyway, to the game at hand. Um, again, I am playing my Keho, which I believe is a light tank at tier four. I don't really play a lot of Japanese vehicles, and I just decided, what the heck, I haven't played low tier in a while. My good friend Seth um, has started playing tanks. He's never played before. Um, we play Overwatch together once in a while, and he is just getting into the game, and so we were playing low tier together um, just to kind of get him used to the game, and because of that, I just kind of started playing low tier again, kind of figuring out what vehicle I wanted to play alongside him. And the Keho is one that I kept when I was grinding out the STB line, and I liked it, even though it's not really that great on paper, I just found that it was pretty fast, had a decent gun, and it was just a cute little tank and I just never sold it. So anyway, here I am. The map is Fjords. Um, for those of you that watch my scout guides, you'll know that I um, made a scout guide for this map just recently. I do have the last segment of it not edited yet, unfortunately, that I plan on posting this weekend for those of you that are keeping up to date with those. Um, and I actually will utilize a lot of the positions I show um, in those videos. And so for those of you that like to watch, it'll be kind of interesting for you to watch this game. So this is a solid tier four battle and I am just kind of doing what I normally do. You know, I pushed up into the, the C5, C6, or not, the, yeah, the C5 area, um, trying to get early shots. And now I'm playing the position at E, 4e5 which is a very strong position and i am trying to do what i can to take out these pz b2s um i kind of stopped running xvm because one i just was getting frustrated every time i got xvm focused by artillery particularly and world of tanks updates like every couple of weeks and because of that it was really just i don't know i don't play a whole lot right now because of the baby and so having to go on every time i played to update xvm was just getting old so for now no xvm um, but, as you can tell, uh, up in the corner, and I don't know if my cursor is recording or not, last time it wasn't, but you can see on the enemy team, their PZB2s are in a platoon together, and they also have some medals, meaning, you know, I, I don't really actually know what those medals are, but it pretty much means that, you know, if they've ground out this game long enough to earn those kinds of, like, little tags, it probably means that they're decent players, so... I am trying to do my best to deal with them, and that's why I pushed into this position. But after taking a couple shots from the enemies, the M8A1 and the PZ3J, I decide it's in my best interest to get back more defensively, because I don't know how this game is going to turn out. We are winning right now, but these low tier games, it's really hit and miss as to whether or not you're actually going to win or not, because again, you can get killed in about two, three shots pretty quickly. And when that happens, it's anybody's game. But we are winning currently. But I just don't know if we're going to have what it takes to deal with the enemy push in the south. Again, I know that we are definitely winning this game. And if you look at the mini-map, we have a lot of vehicles down there. But the, the PZB2s are notorious for being difficult tanks to penetrate. And if he is not being contested very well down in the south, we could easily, easily lose that flank. And so my... My first um, instinct is to win this northern flank as soon as we can. And I'm doing what I can to put fire down. I have binoculars equipped, which, by the way, if you guys play anything under tier 5, binoculars are the single most advantageous piece of equipment that you can equip on your vehicle because low tier tanks have horrible 
view range. I don't care if you're in a light tank or in a heavy tank, your view range is like 200 at the most. And so because of that, equipping binoculars and getting your view range up to like, uh, actually 200 is a lie, probably more like 250 to 300. But regardless, pushing your view range out um, closer to the 400 meter mark is gonna let you outspot and shoot at enemies and they have absolutely no chance of spotting you back. So that's what I would recommend. If you have a pair of binoculars that you can swap back and forth, I recommend definitely equipping it when you're grinding low tier. So I'm gonna push forward here, hoping to get shots down into the PZ2. I don't wanna push into the PZ2J just because I have no armor and that thing has a nasty little gun. While I could probably kill him in two shots, I just don't wanna risk it right now. And it's, I feel like in low tier especially, people get really anxious to just do things, right? They just are like, okay, nothing's happening. I just need to push. Well, this is, you know, fine. I feel like if you are playing low tier, being patient and waiting for the enemy to make a mistake is crucial because everyone has that mentality to, again, push and um, be extra aggressive at low tier because they think, oh, it doesn't really matter. It's a low tier game. And so you have a greater potential of having a good game or having a very bad game at low tier for that reason. And so I'm going to push around here. I realize the Marauder um, hasn't been lit, and so I really do want to light him. And unfortunately, I ran into this PZ-3J. Thankfully, um, I believe our T-40, yep, our T-40 was able to take him out, and we are still considerably in the lead. Again, it's making me nervous a little bit that that PZ-2, uh, PZ-B2 is still alive, and... As long as he's alive in the south, this is still anybody's game. The second he dies, um, we're going to win. I don't want to rush down to the city like this T-28 is, just because the Lux will light me, and if that happens, the Martyr could easily um, kill me in one shot, right? And so I really want to kill this Lux because he's being quite annoying. Um, I'm being <laughs> a goob with my aiming, and this gun isn't super accurate, unfortunately. But I'm doing what I can. The Sextant gets lit, and so I'm going to put one shot into him. Taking this guy out would be very, very nice, just because it takes the RNG out of the game. But as you can see now, we are down to 4v4. Right as I said, that arm, uh, the Martyr killed the M37. Our Type 95 just got killed. And all of a sudden, it's just me, the T40, and the Matilda left. And the Matilda is not doing so hot right now. Um, I decide, okay, the PZB2 is going to push us. And what worries me, again, is the PZB2 is still alive. He's going to push our base. And the Martyr, who has four kills, is still not lit, meaning he is completely full life. I'm a one-shot. I think our Matilda's a one-shot, and our T40 is probably close to a one-shot for the Martyr. So if we overcommit right now and push into the city to try to kill them, that Martyr's going to pick us all off. He's going to get a top gun, and we're going to lose this game. And so I believe it was the right call for me to play passively just because I don't want to throw this game prematurely. Now, this is a defensive position I will be showing you more in depth in my guide to fjords um, coming up. But this position you can get to in two ways. You can cross the bridge at, um, what is it, C1, or you can come over here at around A3 and cross over. This is definitely the safer route if you don't know the speed of the vehicles pushing from the south. And I personally don't play low tier enough to understand how fast that PZB2 can go, and I really don't want to get into this position awkwardly through the bridge and blow my cover. So I'm pushing across, and I really don't want to get lit here. I tempted to activate my binoculars, but I decide, you know what, I'm just going to push across, get behind this rock, which is going to be um, the best cover for me, and I'm going to set up my binoculars here, hoping to get a shot as he moves across. Unfortunately, the Martyr 38T pushes into our T40, and now we are down to a 1v4 situation. Um, I know you guys can't see the chat because my camera is covered for it, and that is tactfully <laughs> placed there for a reason. But basically, I'm being blamed for being a coward by the T40 and for throwing this game while other team members are actually cheering me on. So you can see what I did there. I double bushed. I uh, backed so the bush that I was in front of is no longer transparent or opaque and I'm able to fire through it without getting lit. And the Lux, even with its high camouflage value for its tier, is unable to um, spot me. I'm trying to justify to my team members right now, I'm chatting saying, hey, I had to fall back to protect the base because I didn't want them to capture. And um, yeah, the T-40 is laughing at me saying I'm gonna die because I'm a noob. 
but it's okay. We'll see what happens. So again, this position is so overpowered in terms of defense. So many bushes. You got a rock that's relatively safe from artillery. I have been splashed before, but you can't really get one shot. And I'm setting up my binoculars in a position where I can see down towards the base, but also potentially spot anything that's going to be pushing from the north. Now, my guess is that the PZ-2B is going to be approaching the base any second now. The Martyr is most likely going to push from the north. Again, he has five kills. He is a good player, and he can... Um, I believe he can potentially one-shot me. I think the gun on the Martyr 38 is about 120 alpha-ish. Maybe it's 150. Again, I don't know. I've never played that line before. But we're just going to be patient. Um, the worst thing I could do right now is drive into the open and have that Martyr sitting out in the open with his binoculars up. I'm assuming he does have them equipped and die. This PZ2 dude, um, two is playing smart. He's definitely a good player. He has experience. Oh, and there's the Martyr. I'm not paying attention to him right now just because I know I'm not going to have a clear shot on him. But I know that he's lit, and I'm going to back up, I think, right here. I'm trying to get a shot on him. I don't want to get lit here, but I'm going to double bush, and I'm going to get a shot into him. I guess I don't blind fire there. I thought I did. But I drive forward, hoping to spot him again. I'm going to activate my binoculars, and now the B2 is capping. I decide it's in my best interest to at least spot him, but then the martyr gets lit. So I'm going to drive forward so I'm in the bush, and I'm going to attempt to put a few shots into this guy. First shot misses. Are we going to able to connect? Yes. Second shot hits. Third shot hits. Okay, so that was really, really fortunate that we were able to get him down to a one shot. Now it's just a matter of dealing with this B2. Now it seems like he is quite unaware of where our position is, and he just gives me his side. You know what? I'll take it. Um, <laughs> the standard rounds on this thing are really, really horrible, but the gold rounds are decent. And so I do fire a lot of them this game just because I know it's going to be close. Now we are in a 1v2 situation with Artie. To be honest, I'm not really scared too much of Artie at this tier. Um, I am being threatened now to get testicular cancer uh, from uh, one of our team members. But again, it's okay. We have three minutes roughly left and now that M37 is telling me uh, Forte for the win, which is my um, other account's name that I'm using with this vehicle. Um, I created the Dauntless account specifically to stream YouTube. Um, and this was my account that I used previously to that. Um, and I tend to come back to this time to time if I want to play low tier or other nations. Um, Again, it's a whole thing. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to push forward. I know there's two minutes left, and this Martyr, who's a one-shot, is very, very unlikely at this point. Considering he was a passive the entire game, he's going to be defensive. He's at a disadvantage. Tank Destroyers have relatively low view range and HP at their tier. He has paper armor, and I know that it's up to me to be aggressive if I don't want to get a draw. And the reason I say that is even if he does push forward at the last second and I kill him, I'm going to have to try to find artillery. And so there's no good way of playing this. Now, I just get lit. I figure out that the Martyr has to be sitting in probably B4, C4 area. I can't sit here for long just because I know artillery is going to try to splash me. Um, I move around just a bit hoping that artillery would miss because I didn't want to pop out and get one-shotted. I'm going to use this bush for cover and I'm going to drive forward and hope that the Martyr has relocated. And for some reason, he hasn't spotted me, meaning that he moved to a position that is no longer able to view me there. I'm going to use this little little um, depression here, and I'm going to get myself up. This is a strategic move on my part. With 1 minute, 20 seconds on the clock, I decide I'm going to peek up and use this bush that's right in front of me to see if I can spot anything. My guess is the Martyr's hiding over here, and that I'm going to be able to spot him when I, when I peek up. Sure enough, he's right there. He's looking for me. He hasn't been able to spot me yet, and I'm able to fire and get a shot into him. I drive forward, and surprisingly, I am not lit. Only one minute left on the clock, and he blind fires. There's no chance he's going to win at this point, and I win the game. And there you go. I have a lot of people actually watching me, um, which was great, and everyone cheered me on. I ended up getting um, just over 1,200 damage this game with 300 assists and 6 kills. Um, I might have got a blind shot in there here and there, but for a tier 4 game, I feel like that's pretty decent, um, but it was a lot of fun. Again, I don't play a lot of low tier just because I don't want to just seal club and discourage new players from coming into the game, but once in a while, it definitely does have a different feel from playing high tier games. Um, if you like this kind of game and you want to see me play more low tier, if you want to see me play tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, 
let me know in the comments below and I'd be glad to review some of the best low tier games if you feel like you get frustrated playing tier 10 or tier 8 and you want to just have a little fun. Um, I definitely have my selection of my favorite low tier vehicles as well that I really don't play a lot anymore but I definitely can revisit those if you'd like to see that. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I do apologize again for being um, inconsistent with my uploads. I'm going to try to just keep doing um, replays like this just for a little bit until things are stabilized because these are really easy for me to record. It takes me about 15 minutes and I can at least get those pumped out more on a regular basis. So thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Um, my channel has been kind of dwindling recently uh, just because I haven't been consistent. So if you don't mind sharing my videos with your friends, um, letting people know about my channel, that way I can get more views and kind of get my momentum going again because it's frustrating when I upload a video and I get like 50 views on it. And so um, anyway, I would appreciate that. And if you'd like to leave me a like down below, also subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell icon. Um, it helps uh, you know when I post a new video. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video.